what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is belinda your local lash educator i guess before we get into this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already and we're gonna get right into it so today's video is actually about my lash manual that i have for sale for ten dollars online now this manual you can print it for yourself you can actually give it out to your clients um, if you're training if you don't have a lash manual already or if you're looking for a lash manual this is the perfect lash manual for you i'm going to not really touch bases on the manual itself i'm going to talk more about the business side like how to market yourself basically so that's at the end of my manual but i'm just gonna skim the manual the first page is are you ready to take your lash career to the next level why eyelash extensions and then i go over the difference between clusters lashes and the second video how long does the process take how long do the lashes last essential supplies basically everything you need to get started i have my a little scan code here for my lash amazon favorites let's learn lashes i go over the curl thickness lengths everything literally lifesaver so this right here is the page just to kind of give you a look at what the actual manual itself looks like right here so these are the two pages i just went over there's the first page second page a little bit of information here lashes then you got lash mapping and then lash isolation shedding aftercare sanitation again another scan code here mastering instagram this right video the purpose of this video is the marketing video and i always get a lot of questions on how do i start my instagram how much should i set my prices to and whatnot i'm gonna talk to you guys the way i would talk to somebody if i was training them so create a separate page on instagram for your business and beauty uploads you want this page to be as professional as can be when I say this, I mean no selfies, no twerking videos, no rants, nothing personal. You just had a cancellation and now you need that spot to be open. Do not take a picture of you driving with the wheel and snap it and be like, two o'clock availability, hit me up. No, go to Pinterest. I'll have my Pinterest link below. I do save a lot of like background stuff that you can save. I usually do a plain color. You can do a plain color. Do not post a car selfie or anything like that. You want this page to be professional because you want your clients or an, an onlooker to be like, oh, this person is professional. It's nothing like nothing too crazy, okay? <sighs> Just be professional. When I say twerking videos, I really mean that because I've followed business pages and it's like their personal page and that's not why I'm following them. I'm not following you for your personal party life you eating the coochie or something like that i don't need to know all that i just want to follow you because of your work not because of you so here is my biggest thing right here with this you'll need to create a business g mail with this gmail you can create a google voice with a text which is a texting app to get in contact with your clients never give out your personal phone number again a lot of this is you don't want it to be personal you want it to be as professional as can be. This phone number, you can create whatever area code you want. And again, it gives you like a list of phone numbers you can pick from. I've never given out my personal phone number. You can text, you can call, you can leave voicemails, you can call them. So how to increase your followers. A lot of what I'm talking about too is if you decide you want to start selling items. So if you decide you want to start selling lashes, lash trays, lip gloss, this is for anything you want to start selling. Collaborate with other businesses with large followings. Use trending, relatable hashtags. You always want to put hashtags at the end of your post. This is going to help people who are looking up things. Like for instance, for me when I make a post, I do my city with my surrounding city. So when I press hashtag on Instagram, it's going to like auto populate hashtags already. So I'll do like, so I'm in Davenport. So I'll do Davenport lashes, Davenport nails, Davenport hairstyles, just Davenport anything beauty related. So that way when somebody's looking that up, my my page will pop up. And and then I do my surrounding city. So if I have I know you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about, but if I have Lakeland, I'll do Lakeland lashes, Lakeland minks, Link Lakeland hairstyles, Lakeland nails, Lakeland braids, Lakeland everything beauty. Then I'll do Plant City, Claremont, Haines City, 
Orlando, Tampa, Kissimmee. I don't do the big cities just because those tend to have like thousands of hashtags underneath them already and it's going to be hard for your post to make it up there. I don't do Orlando and I don't do Tampa. Um, send products to celebrities or influencers with a P.O. box. Um, I don't know if you guys have anybody that's around that usually has like a little K or a little bit of a high, higher following that you can send or have them come in and you do free pro free work on them just for like a selfie or a shout out or something like that. Create giveaways that require contestants to post your page. Engage with your followers, postings. I don't do um, lives, but like your Insta stories and stuff like that. I know with Insta Instagram, it's different with the swipe ups because you have to have like a large following so you can post on Snapchat. For example, if you're a tourist babe, comment your birthday down below. Be sure to reply back, like throw in a heart or something. Post content to ask followers to tag a friend. Hey, tag a friend down below. Do promo exchanges. This is gonna be the same thing as if you're giving something for the free. Like, hey, I'll do your lashes if you just post my work. It's simple, it's easy. Bada bing, bada bing. Ask family and friends to post your page. Always compliment other businesses. At the end of the day, there's enough for everybody. There's no reason for you to bash anybody. And I say this because I've been through this. I had somebody that I trained and she literally reached out to somebody who knows that I talk to frequently and was like, hey, I know you go to Belinda for your lashes, but hit me up, I do lashes too. Um, you lost all my respect. That's it, you just lost all my respect. So let's increase your sales. Make prices affordable in the beginning. Remember, you're just starting off. You don't want your prices to be $120. You want to make your prices affordable in the beginning because you're working on your craft. You want to use these people as a way to build your portfolio, I guess you can say, and to help you with your speed, help you with your technique, help you with everything. So you don't ever wanna charge something crazy in the beginning when you're just starting off because you really won't go nowhere. So start with a $50 class, classic special, and then after that period, raise your price. And I say special because you always, whenever you lower your prices or if it's something really low, you always want to label it as a special because when you go to raise your prices, you don't want your clients or your followings to be like, hey, you were just at $50, why are you now at $80? No, honey, that was a special. It's a promotion, it's not going to last forever. That was a special for that period. Now this is the price. I would say do like a $50 special when that when that period is over, you're like, okay, I can, I can raise my price because I know I'm worth more than $50. Raise your prices to 70 to 80. And then once you, you're there for like a few months and you're like, okay, I'm booming. So lower it just a little bit. So go into another $60 special. You don't want to go back to 50. Do another $60 special because once you hit that special mark, at the end of that special mark, you're going to bump your prices again, 100, 120. Again, this is all on you and what you want your prices to be. When picking prices, you want to look at your competitors your people around you and see what they're charging and kind of either stay at the same price or go a little bit above a little bit below you don't i mean everybody here is going to be different on what they tell you for your pricing again this is all on you you have to think about material time like for me i charge 80 dollars for a classic believe it or not 80 dollars is actually really 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 cheap compared to people up in North Carolina. I'm only using North Carolina as an example because I was on Pinterest one day and I clicked on like the website for somebody's lashes and they charge almost $200 for some classic lashes. And people up in Orlando, they charge like 120, 150 for classic lashes. I don't know that to me, that's just crazy. It only takes me about an hour to do lashes. So I only charge $80. Again, everybody is going to be different. Discount on special holidays. You don't want to make it a frequent thing to always lower your prices or give out specials because and then you won't have clients throughout normal pricing. When I say this, I mean you have your your set price. You're not getting any business because 4th of July is coming up and they know you're going to throw a 4th of July special or they're not going to book you because they know Christmas is coming up and they're like, I know she's gonna throw a special for Christmas. I already know, so I'm just gonna wait. You don't want that, so don't make it a frequent thing for you to have 
a special. So if you have like a mailing or a website that you use, you can send mass emails during sales and give them updates. Stay consistent with uploading products and marketing. I'm really bad about this. I need to take my own advice. But you want to stay consistent because they want to see that you're frequently, frequently working. Use people with large followings to post sales for free or for a small fee. Again, if you have somebody in your area that has that little K next to their name, reach out to them and see if they want to do something with you. Recommend your products. Always recommend something that you have. Add links to your Instagram and Insta story. Again, Instagram is harder if you don't have a large following. So for Snapchat, swipe ups to book. Have an easy to use mobile site. So now this kind of goes with the branding on a budget. Decide what you want your brand to focus on. Be consistent with posting and product updates. Have a clean and easy to read logo. Now, when I say this, no offense to anybody who, who, do, who does it, but I always tell the people that I train, you don't ever want to limit yourself. You want your name for your business to be a, a universal name, a diverse name, or is that, is that a word for it? I don't know. You want your name to be open to more ideas, so you don't want to put lashes by your name, minks by your name, nails by your name. You don't ever want to do that because now you're kind of stuck with that name. So now you're, you learn teeth whitening, so now it's lashes and teeth by. No, I, and I am not throwing no shade to anybody who has this name. I had this name in the beginning to like finally changed it. You don't want to limit yourself. You want to be able to add services under your business so that way you have a way to make more money and different money, not just lash money. You want teeth whitening money, you want waxing money, you want body contouring money, you want brow money, you want hair money, you want nail money. Like there are so many people out here training and doing all these different trainings for different services that you can easily go and get trained so to add underneath your business so don't ever limit yourself by doing lashes by nails by hair by and again no shade usually those people stick to the gist of that the hair the nails the, the lashes but i always tell people don't don't limit yourself you want to be able to add different services for instance, teeth whitening. I gave you guys a good video on teeth whitening. I sell the pamphlet, I sell the gel. I'm working on getting the LED light. I sell these things to you guys for a cheap price so that way you're able to add this service to your business and make good money. <coughs> Doing so much talking, I feel like I talk so fast. Create fun and unique visuals that are current. Pinterest or create your own. I tend to go to Pinterest for a lot of my stuff. Place your logo on a free common items used every day to create brand awareness example mugs pens hats t-shirts and i actually have a logo person if you're looking for a logo person i'll have all her information down below only repost customers and capture your products in good quality again if they're in a car and the quality is horrible and you can't really see the product or if they're using an instagram filter that already gives them lashes don't post that on your page because then you're giving the false advertisement and you don't want that because then now somebody sees that and they're like i want these lashes but in reality, it's a filter. Um, another big thing, don't ever, 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 I mean, if you have the money, by all means, but I'm cheap and I always tell this to my people that I train, don't invest in a booking site right away. Don't invest in a website right away. You want to build your clientele so that way their deposits or their tips or their little cash or the, the cash that you're now... 20 plus clientele is bringing into you is going to pay off for that booking site. You do not have the extra money to spend on a booking site or a website. Do not spend that extra money. Go to the dollar store, go to Walmart, go to Michaels, go anywhere and buy yourself a planner. Just write everything down for now until you have 20 plus where it's just like, okay, this is, this is too much for me to handle. Then you go and you throw in a a equity or a style seed or a wix or shopify anything once you have that extra money again don't spend extra money right away if you don't have it period okay have quality packaging whenever you decide you want to start selling things again you want to have fun and unique packaging worth your customers to post on their page to gain interest in other people. I know when I see good quality, I'm like, dang, let me go to this page. What they, what they got to sell? You always wanna have 
good quality packaging once you get to that point if you ever decide you want to start selling things. I have another Scantron here that you can scan for my shipping favorites on Amazon. Again, I use Amazon for literally everything. I do have best times to post. Again, everybody's gonna be different on the times that they post or their engagement. And that's the end of my manual. I do have a notes section here that you can take down notes if you want to, if you print it. This is all good notes compatible. So buy it, download it, put it into good notes and you can use it. And again, this is, my manual is super helpful. It's helped me. It's helped my clients that I've trained. I hope this video helped you guys. And I know I talk fast and I tend to, you know, like stutter a little bit. Um, kind of bear with me. I'm trying to post more and frequently. So stay tuned. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I post a video. And let me know what you guys think about this video down below. Did I help you? Did I not help you? Is there more things I need to cover? I try to comment back when I can, but let me know. I always see the comments. So I take everything you guys say into consideration. So let me know what, what videos you want, what you want me to cover, what you want me to talk about, and I will get it for you because, girl, I'm coming with the uploads. And I'll see you guys in my next video.